What's up, YouTube? My name is Tyler Rose, and welcome back to Tyler Rose TV, man. Let's get it, man. Never gonna strike me, even if it did, they ain't never quite like me. That ain't like me, that ain't really like me. So my name is Tyler Rose. I am the born winner, man. If you're new here, I do sneaker content, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you love your mama, man. Spread some love today, man. But let's get into this video, man. Let's go. So Off-White and Jordan are back at it again with a highly anticipated collabo. Once again, it's always highly anticipated when you got Off-White collaborating with Jordan. So this time Off-White is going to be messing with the classic Air Jordan 5. And when I mean messing with it, I mean, man, this dude put holes in it. And this definitely looks nothing like the classic Air Jordan 5 because it's off-white. And you know he gonna make sure it looks extra funky, fresh. You know, whatever words you want to use to describe it. Now, these will be dropping October 24th at a retail price of $225. Guys, we're gonna get in how to cop these shoes, of course. And we even gonna get into some resale value and what the prices might look like. But first... Let's dive into the detail of this shoe, cause this shoe right here is different. I mean, I don't know where to start. Instead of white leather, we got this cream color. Now this cream color gives me a vintage look, like it just gives it that, that old feel, which in my opinion looks really dope. And it's got the off-white zip tie, and we about to get into these holes, bro. Now if you can see, we got a hole right here where the netting is, which we seen on the metallic off-white fives. And given this whole colorway of this shoe, this hole looks like a condom in a way, like, <laughs> like I might go lie to you, it looks like a condom because of the color is like that cream color, look like a condom. Hey man, sorry man, if you're younger man, I'm sorry about that comment, but hey man, I'm just giving it how real, I'm just keeping it real man. But we got another hole if you move more above it, towards the back of the heel, and also on the tongue of the shoe, we got another hole which is on the only on the left side of the shoe, there's no hole on the right tongue of the right shoe. Now at a glance, we can see the 23 is lightly faded, it looks like they put some type of material over the 23 and the Nike Air on the back of the shoe so it looks like it's covered in a way and of course typical off-white you got the zip tie and then the classic black and red midsole which is also on the OG fire red fives now on the other side of the shoe we got another hole on the netting but this time the netting has the classic off-white scripture if you want to call it a scripture that's on you man I don't know what you want to call it the off-white they just be putting these random words together you know, that's what Virgil does. You know, it's cool, it's creative, it's different. Hipsters like it. Resale vibes gonna like it. What up? <laughs> now on the insoles, we got the OG Nike Air inside, paying homage to the originals from 1990. We got our lace locks and a very thin structured heel, especially compared to like the OG Fire Red Fives. Like the heel is very thick, very, very bulky around the heel. But this time it's obviously a lot more thinner with Virgil putting his touch on it. It's a little bit thinner. It's not as thick and bulky. And you know the fives, how they have that little groove, that little bump groove on the back of the heel. This time, obviously, there's no like big bump groove right there. It's just, you know, very thin and very light. Now, would it be a Jordan 5 without some 3M? As you can see, these look dope. You know, the 3M on these, you know, it's cool, whatever. I was never crazy about the 3M on the fives, but the tongue always has some 3M on it. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The shoe already has yellow soles, which gives the shoe the vintage feel I think Off-White was going for. So no, so guys, no Sea Glow needed. These are straight yellow from the factory. I don't even know if people still use Sea Glow. Like, I'm, I'm from a different time. Like, when I started getting into shoes, a lot of people used to Sea Glow the, back, the bottoms of the shoes, the soles. So when people had the 11s, the 5s, and the 6s, and the, and the bottom soles would get yellow, a lot of people would Sea Glow on them. I don't know if y'all go back that far into the sneaker game, but I, don't, I never heard people Sea Glow on their shoes no more. Maybe people just don't do it no more. Maybe, maybe people just don't care but at one point that's what people was doing and another close-up of the shoe as you can see what I said earlier the 23 and the Nike Air symbols are very hard to see in a way it's kind of faded it's almost washed away which is uh I guess what they were going for as well like I said it's always gonna be a lot, a lot different when you're dealing with these designers now like I said earlier the hole in the shoe is only on the left side and of course it wouldn't be off-white like I said if you don't got the quotes on your shoelaces that say shoelaces it wouldn't be off-white without them you need those and damn even the box got holes on them i mean they were really going for this whole whole look man i was that was like no pun intended the whole whole look now this whole look of the holes oh my god i can't even talk it just don't sound right it don't come off right and before we get into how to cop these shoes please let me know down in the comments what you think of these shoes for me these are definitely a cop because personally I think anything off-white you should cop, even if you don't want to wear it, you can resell these and make some money. And if you're into making money, if you're reselling shoes, of course this is a reseller's dream. If you're not into reselling shoes and you just want these because they look dope, 
and go for them. I'm not gonna lie, when I first seen these rumored a couple months back, and I seen some of the shit, some of the pictures that were sampled out, I thought these were terrible. But now these official pictures, as I look at them, they're growing on me, and I think they're really dope, and I think it fits the whole aesthetic look that Off-White goes for with their shoes. Now the Off-White Muslin 5s are going for about anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200, but in my opinion, with this particular release, I do see these hitting about $1,500 as a resale value. I don't see these going lower than the Muslins because to me, in my opinion, these look way better and I feel like they'll have a little bit more hype around them. You get these at $225, you're definitely making it close to $1,300 in resale value. So go ahead and cop these. But if you want to cop them, you came to the right place, I'm going to help you out. So unfortunately, right now, all I'm seeing is the Nike sneakers app is going to have this shoe released. And I know guys, you're looking and you're watching like, damn, Nike sneakers app sucks. There's so many bots. It's so hard to cop anything. I personally have not gotten one release from the sneakers app. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips that might help you. This is not like gonna change the game, but this is gonna help you when it comes to speed and time. So number one, when you're checking out, when you got your stuff in the cart, man, make sure you're, if you're on your phone, this won't count but if you're on your browser this is going to help you so make sure when you check out you have your name and everything already filled out with autofill which will have your name your address your uh, credit card information and everything you use okay and all you have to do is put the three digits on the back of your card in and you're good to go okay that's one thing that will save you time when it comes to copping the shoe and the next step that might try to help you too is also if you have a relative or a friend have them wake up early with you to try to get this release. Give them an incentive, like, yo, if it's your friend, tell them, hey, listen, if you go ahead and try to get these shoes for me and you get them, I'll give you $50 or I'll give you $20 or I'll take you out to breakfast. Because the more people you have trying to get the shoe, you obviously this increases your chances. And last but not least, I think you should follow Bodega because I did see Bodega did get the Fragment 3s released. Um, I do. I did see they had a raffle for the Fragment 3s on Bodega. I follow them on Instagram, so make sure you follow Bodega. They might get the shoe, and there might be more places and retailers that get the shoe. If you follow me on Instagram at Tyler Rose Music, I will be posting as soon as I see and hear any other retailers get the shoe. So as soon as I see any other retailers or I hear any rumors, I will post it on my story. If you follow me on my Instagram, I do already post a lot of sneaker content. So make sure you go ahead and follow me there and I will keep y'all up to date. But that does it, man. Thank you for watching. My name is Tyler Rose. I am the born winner. Shout out to all the born winners watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment, man. Spread some love. Have a good day, man. I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.